Today, I'm in South Haven, Michigan. I'm gonna take you on a hiking trip through the Black River Preserve. And as we go along, I'm gonna list off some of the pros and cons about this trail system. They had beautiful wildflowers this time of year. And as you can hear, the gun club is right next door, which is a little bit irritating after a while, so that was definitely one of the cons. But one of the pros is that this is a truly beautiful area. Lots of beautiful trees and wildflowers. As you'll see in a minute, I saw some baby raccoons. There's typically deer running through here. Lots of good bird watching. A few kind of marshy areas, which is good for listening to the bullfrogs. And um, this will bring us to another con. The mosquitoes were really, really bad through this area. I uh, came home with a good, probably 20 mosquito bites. So if you decide to do this hike, make sure you wear lots of bug spray, probably a long sleeve shirt. And if it wasn't for the gun club, this would be a really, really peaceful area. I mean, there's ferns and rivers and lots to see. But I can't wait to show you these baby raccoons. There was four of them and they were kind of, I think they call it purring, which is so cute. Uh, the purring actually picked up on the camera quite well. I made a short video about it a few days ago, which got quite a few views. Unfortunately, my camera focused in on the leaves and did not focus in on this dragonfly. I love these dragonflies. They are so cool. If you ever go a river, um, like tubing down the river, um, a lot of times you'll see them, they'll land on your arm, they'll land on your tube, and they, I used to be scared of them as a kid, but now that I realize they're pretty harmless, they are just such a beautiful creature. Here's the river I mentioned. This is still in the mosquito-y area. Uh, towards the end of the hike, you go up a little bit, and once you go up just a tiny bit, it seems to be a lot less mosquitoes. There were woodpeckers. And I think we got another cool tree coming up here in a second. Just trees I've never seen before. Yeah, check it out. The texture is quite weird or quite unique, actually. All right, so these baby raccoons are coming up. So uh, I'll keep it quiet for just a minute. Those little guys just totally made my day. Okay, let's get to some of the cons. These trails are hard to follow. I'll pause this map for a second. There are, in this tiny little area, there are eight different trails, and it is hard to follow even if you have your GPS turned on. So that's another con, uh, but it's hard to complain about uh, a preserved area that's allowing us to just get out and explore. So here's a few more trails. This is up in the higher area where there are less mosquitoes. So this area was much more relaxing. I thought I was going to lose my mind when those mosquitoes wouldn't leave me alone. But yeah, through here, you'll see some more beautiful trees. I came with my parents last year and we saw quite a few deer. There is a farm next door. I'm assuming they typically grow corn. Um, and that I think draws the deer in. Yeah, this is pretty cool right here, a little teepee looking thing. I'm not sure who put that together, but something to look at anyway. So we are coming up to a couple more cons here in a second. There are some mud pits in the area. And 
When we brought our dog, he just loves to roll in that stinky stuff. And I got to tell you what, it will kind of ruin your day if your dog gets in these mud pits. It's such a small thing to complain about, but it's something to be aware of if you are bringing your dog. You might want to keep him on a leash. So in the distance there is that farm that I was talking about, the cornfields. They don't seem to be growing anything this year, but... Here's mud pit number one. Our dog Butch would be in that thing in a heartbeat. <laughs> I don't know why he loves to roll in stinky things. <laughs> I don't know if they like to leave their stench on, on the stench, <laughs> but that will ruin your day, trust me. Yeah, so I think this is kind of what draws the deer in right here, this <clears throat> potential cornfield next door. But the trails are just so beautiful, especially on a sunny day. Um, I think the loop I did on this day was two miles. On all trails, that's listed as 2.3 miles. Okay, here's this trail system here. As you can see, there's all these different intersections, and it's hard to know even where to go or where you're at. But here's another beautiful tree right here. And then I captured a little chipmunk that uh, just sat still for me. It was quite cute. I just love watching the wildlife. He's trying to figure out what I'm doing and I'm trying to figure out what he's doing. One more quick con, there were no trail maps when I went. Um, so maybe they'll refill them now that it's the spring season. But that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will see you next time.